high learned in cryptography which actually creates is the area where we are having a huge job opportunities there are so many positions are awaiting for you in terms of uh, the millions of jobs as a security analyst as a security designer as a security architect information security analyst infrastructures secured infrastructure designer and auditor assessor like that so many opportunities are coming up and security in the digital world is going to be a lifetime career with lot of lucrative packages understanding the value of the security we have to build a solid foundation which is having its roots in arithmetic and higher uh, algebra now we shall go through a very important aspects which is crucial to build our academic as well as professional career the agenda of today's discussion is basics of cyber security motives and goals types of attacks and vulnerabilities defense strategies and techniques cryptography and mathematics use of number theory linear algebra mod operator jcd hello okay restart madla madi stop madi ರಿಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ so the cyber security area is uh, the most upcoming area and without the solid foundation of a cryptography which is having its roots in uh, the mathematical concepts like uh, arithmetic and the related higher algebra we cannot build the security so they to be ready for in our career in cyber security as well as to do wonderful activities in academics we shall have our foundation solid so today's agenda is basics of cyber security motives and goals types of attacks and vulnerabilities we will be re looking at defense strategies and techniques we look at cryptography and mathematics use of number theory linear algebra and operator then gcd and euclidean algorithm congruence circular notation and algebraic structure then we proceed to understand the concept of encryption decryption and the importance of key 
types of cipher polyalphabetic and transposition ciphers then secret key cryptography computer security is all about studying cyber attacks cyber is the space in the digital field which is a combination of hardware and software and network related uh, communication uh, spaces and other aspects all together are creating the cyber spaces in in this cyber lot of message is being stored or manipulated or transmitted and they are having secrecy about the country about the organization and about the competitor and also the personal related information related to account number of a person and how much amount he is having in his account all such information so such the information which is available in the digital space or cyber space is very useful for malicious uses because of that the hackers are always interested in carrying out attacks on this cyber space which is having automated information system with a view of to defending or protecting breaches to be verified they verify that what are the vulnerabilities related to defending and protecting data is existing vulnerabilities are the weaknesses by understanding these weaknesses the people are going to carry out cyber attacks under computer security or cyber security our focus is to defend and protect our data which is existing in our automated information system any such attacks must be addressed properly to save our data this act of defending and protecting involves preserving of information system resources that includes hardware software firmware information data and telecommunications confidentiality integrity and availability so we are interested in using different techniques and practices that are specifically designed to protect data it applies to digital data and by applying cyber security related techniques and practices related to store data or data in news or data being transmitted we are interested in providing the protection against malicious users or unauthorized users this protection is involving three important objectives when we say we are providing computer security we are ensuring confidentiality means whatever data is actually being stored or manipulated or transmitted it is accessible only by authorized people and unauthorized people do not have the uh, what you call uh, access to such a confidential information so because for that purpose we have to create a protective layers at uh, the database level at communication level and also the people who are trying to log in and use it we have to provide lot of security over there so confidentiality data confidentiality and privacy the information is being owned by either individuals or nation or the organizations and authorized users should have the control over it so under privacy we address it 
then integrity data integrity duplication of the data then manipulation of the data misrepresentation of the data all such things should not happen so we we have to provide the protection against any integrity breaches and also we have to ensure the stem integrity then we have to ensure that there is proper availability to authorize users and non availability of data for unauthorized users shall be ensured whenever we are trying to provide all these things there are continuous threats of different kinds and these cyber attacks are having very clearly defined motives and goals the cyber attackers may be trying to breach the systems or trying to get unauthorized access to the data because of sheer thrill the people who are having a very good knowledge technically but somehow they are unable to uh, shine in their personal life most of them or many of them are using their skills and competency with the sheer thrill to carry out the cyber attacks next one is script kiddies so on internet on different websites different types of uh, tools and uh, scripts are available freely the script kiddies are having lesser competent and skills they take these things to get access which is not allowed normally they try to use the data for their use by doing unauthorized and illegal activities third one is discontrolled employees employees who are working for some company if they are unhappy with their bosses or the company they may be involved in uh, what you call sharing very important information about the company or important information about any individuals to the competitors or selling the information for gaining some money or such thing they may be doing the fourth one is cyber terrorists these are the people who are interested in uh, attacking the cyber assets of any country or any financial institutes so as to spoil the entire thing and next one is for financial gain the people are involved in the act of collecting the information from different people by promising them some lucrative benefits click the the url and you will be getting huge money in the lottery or some company has selected you and please log in your details to get the money credited to your account some widow is having a lot of money in her account she is interested in sharing it for the social causes who are interested can actually share their information like that very lucrative and convincing emails will be coming or the on the mobile sms may be coming and people get into the trap and share their personal information the other side the attacker is using all this information for financial gain either to hack into accounts or misusing uh, the information related to credit card debit cards and other things and they get the financial gain and these uh, cyber attacks which are carried out uh, by the people are with uh, four major reasons 
we have got four categories for related to that one is to retrieve personal information from individuals here the people are using the attackers are using fishing and farming attracting the people to share their information and using that information or attracting the people for some virtual website and people will be typing their information and through that website the uh, information which supposed to be confidential has been gathered and being used later next one is leakage of personal information so whenever we are trying to use uh, some atm or something if that atm is particularly under attack by cyber attackers they are making use of small device which is called as skimmer and which has been attached it is a very very small then whenever we, we are using any atm card and other things sir, all the information has been skimmed or it has been maliciously uh, captured and later they use it so skimming side channel attacks and snooping or use dropping are coming under leakage of personal, perform, personal information then third one is denial of services which is called as dos here either slowing down the resources of competitors websites so that when people are trying to give orders online should get frustrated and log out like that computer resources either will be slowed down or being exhausted by sending a lot of uh, what you call uh, virtual and uh, useless information to the computer resources because of that a cbo uh, speed can uh, reduce or trans transaction response time may be pathetic all such activities are taking place here and website defacement also may be taking place here and fourth type is making use of malwares that is by making use of worms and viruses either they actually uh, hitting at files or the spoiling different uh, hardware and software resources will be taking place here and the cyber attackers whenever they are trying to do any of these categories first and foremost thing they do is trying to analyze the vulnerabilities of the system and vulnerability is a weakness or lacuna in a policy or procedure or protocol hardware or software within an organization and that has the potential to cause it damage or loss some weakness will be there the cyber attack attackers or hackers will study these vulnerabilities is there any such weakness is existing and four types of uh, vulnerability uh, checks will be done one is human vulnerabilities second one is protocol vulnerabilities third one is software vulnerabilities and then configuration vulnerabilities vulnerabilities are initiated by the people who are actually uh, either become uh, attracted to lucrative proposals or on the phone they may be sharing their credit card information debit card information number and cvv and other things these are the things which are happening at the human level the people understand and they call or they send the messages and try to exploit it second one is protocol vulnerabilities when any communication devices want to speak sender and receiver they are bound by a set of rules which are called as protocols are there any weaknesses in these protocols whether the data which is being sent from the sender to receiver is it been encrypted or not such things should be checked there then the software vulnerabilities uh, login password access all such things are there any weaknesses over there and also sql related things and other things will be verified there fourth one is configuration vulnerabilities whenever any system is being for the given to the users proper configuration will be done so the attackers try to check up 
is there any weakness in the configuration so that same configuration either they can change or they can copy for their personal use so identity theft then uh, information theft disruption of services and information warfare these are the attacks and uh, related goals and using phishing skimming then farming all such things what we discussed will be carried out there at the end by carrying out these different activities the dns then erp the crypto protocols then micro configurations may be getting affected at the operating system level or protocol based tcp icmp udp related attacks may take place or application may be under threat as through sql injection the attacks may happen buffer overflow cross site scripting all such things so to provide the defense against such strategies we have to implement effective defense strategies which shall involve defensive mechanisms developing and maintaining the organization's cyber hygiene the every organization has to define its uh, cyber policies and also has to train its employees what to do what to not to do on uh, cyber space during their working hours or whenever they are using hardware and software of the organization and to implement these things layered uh, defensive technique has to be used means one is at the organization level policy and procedures second is at infrastructure level third one is at network level fourth one is at application level fifth one is at program level fifth one is at user level different types of uh, layered strategies different strategies must be defined in order to carry out these things we have to combine the people with infrastructure and procedures the purpose of purposeful combination of people infrastructure and procedures is going to ensure the proper implementation and effectiveness of defensive strategies these defense strategies and techniques are involving access control by implementing a proper access control where authentication takes place after authentication like user login and password authorization takes place what type of services the person can use what he cannot use whether he is a super user or just a normal user or system admin based on that proper authorization for specific information is given and to that particular the authorized the subset of information only the person should be given the access that is what we have to implement it either in the program level or at the infrastructure level login and password is one of the important keys here next one is the data protection in the data protection data confidentiality and data integrity shall be addressed how we are going to take the backup how where we are going to store it whether the information is in encrypted form and whether we provide a data protection they by implementing a proper login and password and access to the right people in the organization all such things will be checked up here and also the whenever draft data is moving from one to another one is there any the potential transposition errors whether the data is getting manipulated and what type of protection we have to give so that such manipulation do not take place even if manipulation is taking place how to recover the original data all such things are coming under data protection then the next one is providing data prevention and detection encryption decryption and integrity check and by making use of intrusion detective detection systems we are performing this next one is a response recovery and forensics as soon as we see that somebody is trying and trying to get the access repeatedly then by looking at it the by looking at the pattern then immediately we have to take uh, response measures either we have to shut down 
द सिस्टम और वी हैव टू लॉग आउट ऑफ द सिस्टम और वी हैव टू डिनाई एक्सेस और वी हैव टू सेंड सम वार्निंग मैसेज ऑल सच थिंग्स इफ द अटैक इज हैपनिंग बाई the viruses worms and other things at that time affected the information must be quarantined and after that it has to be cleaned and it has to be released and also cyber forensics lot of investigation to check up the pattern of the attacks must be done and appropriate legal actions shall be taken in order to do it we have to depend on the cryptography cryptography is the science that studies a wide range of issues in the transmission and safeguarding of information two distinct types of cryptographic attacks we can see it one is by cryptanalytic another one is non cryptanalytic types of attacks in order to define appropriate the defensive defensive techniques to protect our data we are making use of cryptography as the basis within cryptography number theory comes to our help and how we are going to use the number theory and other things we shall see it the most of these cryptographic attacks which are falling into cryptanalytic form are combination of statistical and algebraic techniques aimed at ascertaining the secret key of a cipher means the data when it is getting exchanged between sender and receiver whenever we are using the security is converted into some cipher text which is encrypted form and which will be sent when the receiver is accepting this then he has to recover the data by using decryption techniques so both are involving the keys and using if somebody is stealing this key then there is a threat for the data so by making use of statistical and algebraic techniques we try to ascertain the secret key of a cipher so this usually typically uses divide and conquer strategy attackers are actually working out some statistical and algebraic techniques based on the vulnerabilities and after that they make use of divide and conquer so as to try out different techniques in things we are having threat to confidentiality threat to integrity and threat to availability of the different resources in order to provide cyber security we have to depend on cryptography this is cryptography as part of engineering is based on some specific areas of mathematics that include number theory linear algebra and algebraic structures so positive infinity notationally we z equal to a set of minus infinity to plus infinity with it for buckets we put all these values on the top of the
addition, subtraction, and multiplication operations can be carried out. These operations are referred to as binary because it has two inputs. Like A plus, we can put here. In binary operations, we have considered the Two outputs. One is quotient. One is remainder. So, The binder of operations. Based on that remainder, how many we shall see. So D equal to yes, multiplication plus. Render shall be in between zero to n when n is Of all the the common virus. We compare, for example, of one forty. We get a After common by the one party, one by one to four. Arrive at the GCD of the class number, then make use of it. Initially, we can set it and the Then, great common like that, we go on carrying that. 
till the remainder is Then we take and carry out the next question that finally we get so d is to q plus r Now we get to operate with R. We are not bothered. So in the division relation, that is remain. So if there is on the set of foot, if is attached Here, we mentioned notice of remaining the end of the we cast out the division by making use of the corresponding that we are going to get a set of three members. Just for example, Now for the made or other value, we get the the module. Zero to four. When on any numeric value carry out the operation for Z9, the possible remainders are 0 to 8. Now, in case of congruence, in cryptography, we often use the concept of confluence instead of equality. Mac, from Z to N. In one to one, but 
If Doubt. It is a sign of this that in encryption and We just By making you the key, it back into original method and makes the words the original message. In this of key, there are two keys. One is for the public data. So from the center such information and that need Thank you.
So five elements of involving in Appear P one we have by taking the the K one key that we now original first. They were two years. You a key. It is a new for doing a number of things. It is not carried out in the particular the second key is six and the text is this thing with the get fifteen zero eighteen two two zero and Basket is a mapping. We multiply the plain text by K K one one P two K two like that. The P one all these things are actually the split plain text blocks. Then after that, four by four matrix K has been given like this, which is known to the sender and receiver. Then we multiply it by the P is this all that thing. Then we put uh, the values for each of these numbers, and we'll get the final cipher text. In transposition ciphers, we are actually the list out uh, the given text B E G I N O P E. Like that, we split, begin operation at noon, then we convert it. Wherever, if uh, the additional spaces are there, we fill it up by dummy values of Z. After that, we go on rearranging some rows, we rearrange the columns, then we transmit it. So, we are not going to replace any character here, but we are going to replace. They actually rearrange the characters. In order to add the 
ensure that proper cryptography is taking place. As we mentioned, there are two types of cryptography. One is symmetric or secret key cryptography. Another one is public key cryptography. Then we started our discussion on secret key cryptography. In the secret key cryptography, the key is known both to the sender and receiver. It is shared. And we send the message after encryption in the form of ciphertext. Receiver gets it, then he has to recover. So to encryption, the what key is being used? Same key is uh, used in a reverse way by the receiver to recover the message. The two important requirements for secret keys: we do not need to keep the algorithm secret. We need to keep only the key secret that sender and receiver must have obtained the copies of the secret key in a secure fashion and to do that we are using either substitution cipher or transmission cipher for encryption now whenever we are trying to send the messages either we can make use of block cipher or we can make use of stream cipher. In order to confuse the attacker or mislead the attacker, we make use of two block cipher techniques, confusion and diffusion. Then after that, we are trying to make use of data encryption standard, which is the first encryption algorithm for the commercial and sensitive data using this we take the plain text which is of 64 bit make use of the key convert into cipher text of 64 bits so this is being implemented the plain text has been split into two strings and uh, that the 64 bit we have taken 32 bit 32 bit then write will undergo change. First it is substitution, then after that permutation. Whereas left is kept intact. And in the next stage, the left becomes right and uh, whatever has been encrypted, it becomes left. In the second round, it has been uh, the, the substitute first, then it undergoes a permutation and we will get the result. Then total 16 rounds should be covered. At the end of it, we will get encrypted. To implement this, we have got Fissel block cipher. In the Fissel block cipher, which is the design model, we are actually making use of this technique. The plain text has been split into many 64-bit characters. Then 64 bit has been split into 32 plus 32, 32 left, 32 right. Then we make use of the function kr using the key. We are actually working on this l and r on the right side. We work it out, left we keep as it is. Then we make use of uh, the substitution first. After that, we make use of uh, the transposition things, then we give the result. Then in the second round, the L becomes R and R becomes L. We continue like this and at the end, we are going to get the final script. All these aspects we have discussed in this particular module one. With this, we come to the end of the session. Thank you.